Hey, what's going on there, guys? Striker here, and today we are going to be covering Admin GUI Premium, and that there is also a free version you can find. Both of those links will be down in the description, but this one is going to be showcasing our premium version of Admin GUI. So let's go ahead and actually get started. So in this, uh, you can do slash admin this will bring up your main menu here uh, there's a lot of cool features that have been added to the premium version that is not included with the free version so i'm just gonna go basically over this interface and then we'll go into the config a little bit later so we have a nice little um, clickable uh, icons here where you can click it and change the specific format of your uh, interface and the colors which is pretty cool and then you can change your world if you want to set the day or night which is pretty nice. And here, this is where you can manage your players. So you can click on the player, you can see what they are doing, you can see their game mode and their IP, as well as specific actions that you can execute upon them. So if you wanna like teleport to the player, or if you wanna spawn, you know, like some mushrooms or pillagers or, you know, polar bear, puff fish, you know, whatever, it will spawn it on the specific player. Uh, we can heal them, and then you can just mess around with all these uh, specific types of things. So we can like fake OP them, which is kind of funny, and we can launch a firework. So all these um, are, you can do to that specific player. Here. And then you can also run custom commands. These are actually defined in your configuration file. Uh, so uh, make sure you guys go check that out if you do want to do that. And then this is uh, where it hooks into other different types of plugins. So for example, essentials, you can do the kill or scene and uh, pops up your scene message right there. And then down over here, we have maintenance mode, which basically is a whitelist in a way it only allows people with certain permissions to actually be able to join your server. So with admin commands, there will be a tab uh, that you can enable as well as some chat features. So let's go into the configurations and we can change some of that. So we need to go into our plugin files and we can go into our admin GUI premium. And here we're going to be focusing on enabling a lot of these features. We're going to start with the basic config.yml. And here everything is pretty well documented, so you can check it out uh, however you want. But we're pretty much going to be enabling most of these settings because uh, they are uh, disabled by default. So here we have custom join and leave messages. We can also set up uh, MOTD joins as well. And if you want to do the command disabler, we can go ahead and set that to true. You can add commands in here as well. So just make a, a new line and you can do, uh, let's do like um, help top or something. I don't know why you would want to block that, but you know, that's how you add uh, specific commands. Here we have a uh, slash wild and RTP, which is really nice because it's all built in. So then you can check your min and max uh, random teleports, which is really nice. So you don't need any additional plugins. Here you have the de uh, success and failed and uh, delay messages. Here we have our admin tools, which is nice. Here we have our admin permissions. So this does have a built-in permission system as well as a rank setup. So we will get to that in a second, but I'm gonna set this to true. And then in here, you can actually store the specific types of uh, ranks. So for example, here, the zero is gonna be saved into the permissions YML. If you set it to one, it's gonna be through the Bungie server. So it also does work with Bungie Cord. And then if you set the two, that is gonna be through MySQL. So I'm just gonna leave mine as zero. So if you want admin chat to control your chat manager settings, so here is the chat format. You can just set it to true. And then here is your specific placeholders you can use. If you don't want to use admin permissions, you can just use the vault rank. So that would hook in with like luck perms or uh, power ranks or whatever uh, specific permission manager you have. But for now, just to demonstrate, I'm gonna copy the prefix and put that sucker in front of the display name. So that is gonna grab our prefix from our permissions file. Uh, in here, if you want the beautifier, this every message will start with upper and lower case. It just depends on how, how much you want to do. And then you can set your specific delays and prefixes. And here you have your emojis. Uh, so that will transfer uh, that specific characters to the emojis, which is really cool, as well as your filter. 
And here you got your tab list. So it has a built-in tab list, so you don't really need any additional plugins for that either. So as I said, guys, there's a ton of really cool features already built in. And then down here you have your command spy, and then you can also set up specific chat channels for specific ranks, uh, which is pretty cool. So you can check with a specific person has that message, and then they can message in that staff chat channel. Uh, here you have your free settings and then bungee cord. So this also does sync up with bungee cord. So if you have a network and you want to do it with admin GUI, you can. So here is like the specific cross uh, bungee cord message system, which is really cool because not a lot of plugins actually have that, which is a really nice feature. Uh, but I'm just using a straight uh, spigot server. So I'm going to leave that default and then also hooks in with MySQL if you want to do that. And we'll head back to our permissions.yml. And here, this is where you're going to be setting up your ranks for admin GUI, which is really cool because this is very, very similar to like PEX or uh, even like Group Manager if you use that back in the day. But you can pretty much just copy all the permissions right here. You have your prefixes, very easy to set up, very straightforward, uh, which is pretty cool. So all this is already pre-built into it, as well as all the permissions right here from the admin GUI. So you don't really need to worry about that which is pretty great guys uh so really great stuff uh so that's pretty much it make sure you save everything then restart your server Today's video is brought to you by rabbit-hosting.com. This is Crazy Rabbit's own hosting provider services, providing you with a premium hardware for a budget price. You cannot go wrong using this. There are several different types of hosting, which are included with Minecraft hosting, 5M hosting, as well as Discord bot hosting. In the future, he will be providing CSGO as well as Rust game modes. So make sure you go check out Rabbit Hosting, link will be down in the description. So jumping back in game after we have restarted, we can see everything is now loaded up. And also this does support hex color codes as well as CSS colors. And I will put a picture on the screen now with various CSS colors. And you can use the prefix that is set in the config. So if we do like light and then salmon, and then we can do like high, there we go. There is our light salmon color and you can actually bring it back together so there's no space but essentially this works for pretty much anything so we can do lime and we can just do lime and there is our lime color uh, we can test out with the maroon because I I definitely like the maroon color so we can do maroon <laughs> but uh, yeah that's how you do the specific color codes as well as you can use hex colors as well so if you just want to find the hex color and you can just do like test and that is your hex color code so just depends on uh, what you want to format it uh, with your server so pretty cool stuff I want to show you guys some of the commands that we didn't enable so you, you can do the rank uh, permission so we can do admin rank you can set uh, go up or down depending on you know the level that you set in the config we'll use the set command and we'll set my alt and let's go ahead and make him a helper all right so we can make him helper group he is now helper so that is our permissions so if I type hi I am the member so I am the member right now so I'm going to change myself uh, to the owner group and so we can do owner and now if we look in tab we can see our specific color coordinations as well as our tabs um you know that we placed as well so we can see our owner prefix which is really cool guys and if we do you know some of those smiley faces oops that's the wrong one so if we do that it does uh, add those uh, smiley faces and if we type in ugly i should say cute so that's pretty funny that you can uh, change to those and you can add multiple in the configurations as well and then we can also do the admin commands by so if we do like a slash uh, I don't know like AC or something <laughs> as you see uh, my alt did enter that and if we do like the help uh, chat or something I don't know you can see what they did um, add to their specific uh, command which is pretty cool so then one last thing we can do the wild location and it will teleport us and uh, that was very quick actually so a very quickly teleported us and we went to a safe location so if we if we try it again there we go we get teleported to another safe safe location and our TPS is still 20 uh, which is great so if we uh, try it again let's go to another safe location see what happens and there we go there is our new location so we are definitely getting teleported all over the place and everything is loaded perfectly so and now we are on top of the tree so pretty great stuff honestly um, there's a few more commands but you can find those on the specific uh, plugin page but other than that let me know if you have any questions down below hope you guys have a wonderful day peace out